and more from the Futuristic Weapons Department. The Army recently hosted a demonstration of some of its newest capabilities, integrating robotic systems into combat. The capstone event of a month-long exercise known as Project Convergence. The event featured a host of uncrewed systems rolling into a simulated warfare environment. The exercise involved troops from all over the military and included several partner nations, and was partially meant to let those troops experiment with the developing tech. Troops had access to a variety of air and land-based platforms, from robotic vehicles that could launch munitions to self-propelled 50 caliber machine guns. This is my first time working with HMI. Uh, this is them coming for PCC Ford to try out some of their new concepts and test out how they want to maybe uh, create the platoon, uh, the different roles within the platoon and the assets they're gonna be utilizing. We're here to assist them in trying to shape that concept in a way to make it tactically relevant and help them build some of their SOPs possibly down the line as well as test some of their concepts as well. Now we're starting to see uh, RTU themselves uh, come from Fort Moore to utilize their assets and train on different tactics as well to see how these different platforms can uh, assist uh, airborne units or uh, armored units in completing their tactical tasks while also uh, you know, trading blood for steel as I like to call it to try and remove the human casualties off the battlefield but still keeping us uh, you know, in the fight and still accomplishing the mission. In the urban warfare portion, simulating an assault on a complex of structures, a large drone came first, armed with mortar rounds and smaller drones called robots attached to its belly. Troops then sprung into action. Led by a robotic dog, they fought alongside their robot counterpart, letting the machinery often head out first. The Army says it's on the threshold of being ready to use human-machine integrated units where drones and robots do everything from lead the charge into buildings to clearing mines. The exercise also contained a medical element, with drone vehicles playing a key role in casualty evacuation. The exercise took place at Fort Irwin, California.